Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 account and upload the files and folders. So we have the two types of storage accounts, Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage account. Okay, first we will see the difference between Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage account. See here. Azure Blob Storage and Data Lake are both cloud storage services with different features and capabilities. Azure Blob Storage is a general purpose object store for unstructured data such as images, images or documents that can be served directly to browsers. But Azure Data Lake Storage designed for big data analytics workloads such as storing and analyzing large amounts of data. It offers single repository for structured and unstructured data for multiple sources. Okay. And also see here, see here access control, ADL, Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 supports ACL and POSIX permissions for granular access control than the Blob Storage. And it has the hierarchical namespace. And Blob Storage has flat namespace. Capability, Azure ADLS Gen 2 is HDFS captable. So Apache Hadoop services can use data stored in it, but Blob Storage is not Hadoop compatible. Okay. See, these are the few differences between Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. Now we will see how to create the Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 that is ADLS Gen 2. Now connect to Azure portal, portal dot azure dot com hit enter see this is azure portal click on this horizontal lines then see here we have the azure see here we have the storage accounts or simply you can search here also storage see here we have the storage account click on it see it is going to the console to create the azure storage account or just search for storage click on storage accounts see i have one storage account and it is of the type click on it see it is blob service okay so now we are going to create the adls that is azure data lake storage click on create give the name de adls name can name must be the unique across the azure cloud 2024 see this name is available okay and we have to select the region i'm going with us east only then here we have the performance like standard or premium i'm going with standard and redundancy i'm going with local redundancy then next also we have to select the resource group if you, do, if you don't have resource groups you have to click on create new resource group then click on advanced the main point comes here see here hierarchical namespace com complemented by data lake storage gen 2 endpoint we have to select this one otherwise it will be if you don't select this one it will be blob storage see we have to select this enable hierarchical namespace okay and remaining options i am going to give all as it is like access type see if we select this this is grayed out if we unselect we are able to click on this one okay so if you select it then only this will be the azure data lake storage otherwise it will be blob storage that that is the only difference to create the blob storage or azure data lake storage gen 2 okay so remaining options i am not going to change like networking everything i'm going to keep as it is okay encryption also i'm not going to change everything i'm going to keep as it is click on review and create then click on if you're okay with all these settings but again i'm saying this must be enabled that is enable hierarchical namespace must be enabled then only this will be ADLS Gen 2. So if you are okay with all these settings, then click on create. This may take one or two minutes.
see deployment is completed now go to home storage accounts refresh again refresh see both the accounts populated but see here we are unable to find the type of storage account whether it is blob or data lake open both right click open link in new tab also open this in new tab see this is the blob storage see here this is disabled hierarchical namespace and service name is blob storage if you go to here see it is data lake storage and hierarchical namespace enabled this is the only difference that we can differentiate now we will create the container see this is the data lake storage now click on containers then click on container then give the name as input container see we can't give the any special characters okay so just click on create now we can able to upload the files click on upload then drag the files to here you can drag any files see here i have these two files just select them and drag to here then click on upload see we have successfully uploaded even we can upload the directory also just go to the here select this snowflake master drag it here see entire folder it contains 101 files okay also see here if you want to override if any existing you have to select this checkbox and see here blob type and blog storage and all information just you need to click on upload once we click on upload it will upload the files that folder see we have successfully uploaded okay if you go to here see we have different fold subfolders okay we can create a number of containers we can also add directory if you want to delete this directory you have to select this one and you have to delete if you want to rename you have to rename i'm not going to delete or rename okay so in this video we have seen how to create azure data lake storage gen2 and uploaded the some files and folders to this adls gen2 for more azure or cloud videos please subscribe my channel thank you